Hey guys, this is Brad with Dallas Geek, and I'm here today with... Uh, Bill Weddingfeld with the Let's Play Gaming Expo. Of course, you are one of the guys that started this whole convention, right? Yes, that is correct. Uh, there are seven of us. Uh, ooh, six of us. Six of us. Yeah. <laughs> We'll just start over. That's very nice. So how exactly did this end up uh, getting started? Oh, yeah. So a few of us got together and we were seeing conventions pop up all around, but really nothing that we were looking for in the Dallas area related to gaming, whether it be retro or modern or whatnot. So we all got together and we're like, well, what, what kind of convention would we want? And uh, collectively, we we're like, well, we really want a convention where someone could come in and that you can't walk 10 steps without, you know, sitting down and doing something, getting your hands on something and playing. So that's what the Let's Play Gaming Expo is all about, is uh, you, you just get to play and do a lot of things the entire convention. You did mention that there, uh, there was a big emphasis for you guys on retro gaming. And yeah. of course, that is a really decent amount of the stuff that is here. Yeah. Uh, but then you also have a lot of uh, indie developers that are showing off uh, their uh, newer games or the stuff that they're just getting out of beta, yeah. or even some of them still in the alpha phases, just trying to get the name out. Uh, and then you have some modern stuff thrown in, and of yep. course, over where we're at, the uh, tabletop stuff that's coming yeah. in. Uh, so was that all a conscious decision to just try to bring in as many different gaming niches as possible, or did that just kind of happen? Uh, so part of it just sort of happened. Like for instance, uh, we wanted to do a tabletop area because really whenever you come to some of these expos, it can be super loud and just, uh, there comes a time whenever you just need a break. Like you just need a chill out and so we asked ourselves okay well you know what what would you want to do whenever you're hanging out and, you know we started with panels and we're like okay well that's good let's let's keep moving forward we we started doing a little bit of tabletop and then we started noticing that like for instance uh game developers like uh, uh board game developers they'd sort of just sneak in and bring their game demos so we're like okay well you know this is a real thing let's go ahead and expand upon this we brought in DD &D as well so people could come in and experience D&D &D for the first time, or if you're a veteran, just be able to jump into a game. And then we started bringing in Indian, uh, indie developers as well, because uh, there's just, there's a huge market for it in Dallas. We have, we have a ton of great indie developers that we really want to support, and so we, we gave them a chance to be able to show off their wares here at the Expo. So has there been any addition to the convention since it started that you are particularly excited about? This year we're doing the Wizard Competition, which is really cool. It's the 30th anniversary of uh, the movie where a group of kids end up going and participating in a video game championship, and it was probably like the first time someone saw you can play in a tournament with video games whoa you know mind explosion whatever uh so i think that's super cool we're recreating that atmosphere today the finals are today uh as well as that uh the lounge that we're sitting in right now part of our whole thing is we want to transport you into a different world right uh and just a collection of worlds all mashed together and every area that you go into you're like oh my god i just i'm now in a, a fantasy realm right and i need to prepare myself against orcs that is something that we try to strive for we have a dnd room where there's just it's it's literally wood paneled room and you're like this is an office space but somehow you like it looks like a saloon and i have no idea what happened yeah. <laughs> i was just in a different boardroom and you know, uh, things like that is what we really care for and what we want to bring to the expo and bring to the people. Very nice. How many years has this been going on? This is the fifth year. Fifth year, mm -hmm. okay. And did it start off at this location or has it progressed here? So the first two years were at the Plano Center and it just, uh, the first year was a miraculous success. It was amazing. 
and after the second year we realized that there there are way too many people here and it started getting really crowded so we looked for uh, a new spot that could grow with us and Irving Convention Center was what we found and so we've been here this is our third year there and uh, I have noticed that you guys have been able to in that time uh, find uh, some fairly big name sponsors to participate with this. Uh, I know last year definitely uh, GameStop was one of the big labels all yeah. over and I'm pretty sure they're still uh, involved this year, right? Oh yeah, so they're a huge sponsor this year. Essentially, uh, one of the, I think the, the GameStop uh, CEO stopped by and was like, this is amazing. Uh, why aren't we sponsoring it? And so we ended up speaking with them. We're like, well, how can we partner together? And uh, this year they're like, well, we really want to be a part of uh, your speedrunning event because we have a Super uh, Mario Maker 2 speedrunning event that just happened. We gave the, the winner a Switch and a GameStop gift card. Nice. Uh, and then as well as that, the, the Wizard competition, they wanted to be a part of that as well. So uh, we spoke with them, we got it all together, and so they're, they're a, because of them, they made it a great success. Yeah, I, I can definitely see how any electronic or gaming company that doesn't necessarily want to get into the esports uh, too yeah. hev heavily or uh, just doesn't really think that um, some of the other like comic-based conventions is quite their scene, how this could definitely fit in very, very nicely with them. What's that whole experience been like, just uh, finding more and more people to get involved with this and uh, kind of having new avenues to share uh, what is is Let's Play uh, through. I think that there are some conventions that that hit on the retro gaming scene, but a lot of times they tend to be more like swaps, swap meets, right? You just, you come in, whole bunch of vendor tables, can I get this Earthbound for under $30 sort of thing, right? Like uh, that's, that's sort of where it was at. And so part of our whole thing is, you know, that's, that retro gaming space is actually a lot larger than just the collectors. How can we create an event that uh, can bring in the collectors as well as just bring in the families of people that just want to have a great time. So we expanded that. We brought in uh, a, a huge arcade. There are, there are over 85 arcades uh, here, all set free to play. So you can just sort of walk in and play. Same with upstairs. Up here we have I think around 50 consoles that span the generations where you can just sit down and play and we'll rotate out the games throughout the days. That way you can just sit down and you're like, I remember that game. I couldn't beat it as a child. I'm definitely going to beat it now. And then as well as that, uh, to give, I mean, uh, Xbox changed the entire playing field with achievements, right? Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to also give that feel. So uh, inside the, the console arena, we have different achievements. Uh, so you have to play a game. And if you beat, if you, uh, for instance, beat this game in under 60 seconds, or uh, beat this level in under 60 seconds, or get this high score, then you can get an achievement pin. And there are six of those and we uh, end up changing them out year over year that way. Oh, sorry, you missed the pilot wings pin. That's, that sucks. Maybe you should come to the expo. Nice. And I did see that uh, down just outside of the Arkham Arcade, there was a, uh, a prize table, uh, it looked yes. like. So that prize table has all the prizes that we'll be giving out throughout the, uh, throughout the expo. So uh, we have one of our uh, coordinators, Stacy. she ended up creating these amazing trophies for us, 3D printed them, painted them. They're, they're super cool, as well as just all the prizes that we give out throughout the Nice. Yeah. Nice. nice. Um, so, with all the things that you've been able to do so far, uh, and all the different people, and especially families, that have been able to come and just really enjoy the cool offerings uh, together. Yeah. Is there one thing that uh, you would really, really like to see added to the convention for next year? Ooh. Uh. So. For next year, I I really want to make it even more a Universal Studios for video games. That's 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 our goal, right? It's it's you're going to walk in and you're like, oh, I am in one one of Super Mario, 
right? Nice. Uh, if we can get even closer to that year over year, then I would say that we've done our job. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this actually is a great convention if you've never heard of it. Perfect for families. Um, and of course, if you were somebody that grew up playing all these cool retro games, but uh, haven't really had the chance to be able to share that with your kids, this is the place to be able to do that. Uh, they have everything. Uh, if anybody in our audience has not heard of this convention, where can they keep up with it to know what's going to be coming up next year? Sure, so uh, to keep up with us, you can go to our Facebook page, it's Let's Play Gaming Expo, uh, as well as that, you can go to our website, letsplaygamingexpo.com, and that will have, uh, both locations will have the most up-to-date information. And this is just a once a year thing? Once a year. So if you miss it, gotta get it next year, so yep. don't miss it. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you so much for your time, and until next time, this is Brad with Dallas Geek saying, see ya. Make sure to like and subscribe to Dallas Geek, and they're gonna be amazing. And you said you're on YouTube? I have a YouTube channel. Called? Yo Boy Space Cal. The Y and the B are capitalized, and the C. And what That's kind of it. videos do you do? Well, I do a, haven't uploaded in a long time, but I do, uh, I'll do an occasional vlog and a lot of sports videos. Nice. So, it's fun. It's a hobby. It's a fun hobby that I like to enjoy when I'm bored in the summer.